Welcome to the Configuring Location Aware Content Updates lesson. SolyCell has a group of sales representatives that spend most of their time out in the field with customers. Their systems require the best level of protection because they connect from a variety of different locations, including customer site, hotel, or public hotspot. This lesson guides you through a real life scenario where content updates are applied to location awareness. The lesson objectives are shown in the slide. This is the examining location awareness topic. Location awareness allows you to manage clients that connect to the network from different places, such as an office and VPN. For each location, assign a unique set of policies based on your organization's security strategy. For example, a remote employee who connects into the network using VPN. The remote employee may use more restrictive policies versus the employee who works in the office. To enable the client to be location aware, add a set of conditions that automatically selects the correct location and security policies for the client. Then monitor for location changes directly on the client or from the SEPM. To learn more about the location awareness feature, see the Customizing Policies Based on Location lesson and the Enforcing Adaptive Security Posture module in the SEP14 Configure and Protect course. Location awareness enables you to use a different set of policies when clients are off the network. For example, a hardened firewall policy or live update policy that retrieves updates directly from Symantec. You can also manage security for computers outside of your administrative control. For example, your organization may allow customers, contractors, vendors, or business partners to have limited access to your network. Employees may connect to your network using personal computers, and you may need to manage these clients differently. You can also place a client in a quarantine location while remediating a failed host integrity check. The client automatically switches to the quarantine location, which uses the quarantine policies. Quarantine policies are protection policies that are more restrictive. Use any protection policy in the quarantine location. For example, you may use a quarantine firewall policy that blocks a computer's access to the internet. You can also configure a different set of communication settings for each location. For example, to minimize the number of clients that connect to the management server at the same time, you can specify a different heartbeat for each location. SolyCell uses the following criteria when applying location awareness to content updates. The first step is to determine the role of the user on the endpoint. If the user is a sales representative, they may spend more time on the road traveling to customer sites. This type of user may connect to a hotel network or wireless hotspot to connect to the VPN and check their corporate email. After determining the type of user on the endpoint, identify the type of hardware owned by the user. In the instance of a sales rep, it would be a laptop or a tablet that they may take with them to client sites. When determining the level of access that each location will have, it will vary depending on the location. If the endpoint is in the office, it may be on Ethernet. Or if it is a laptop, it may connect to a corporate network over VPN or be directly in the office. Customize your policies to prioritize from where the endpoint retrieves content from, such as creating a GUP to minimize traffic over a WAN to the SEPM. This is the Configuring Location Aware Content Updates topic. The SEP team is creating four locations for the SolyCell sales reps. External identifies when the laptop is outside the corporate network. Office determines when a SEP client connects in at the office and can resolve a specific set of DNS servers. VPN identifies when a SEP client connects to the network from a remote location. Endpoints use the 3G, 4G location when employees log on to a mobile hotspot for internet. Content updates are applied when using the first three locations because company business is considered a priority when using 3G and 4G connections. By not downloading content updates when in a 3G, 4G location, it keeps the cost down, especially when the user is on data roaming. 
You can create new locations from the Manage Locations window. It is always a good idea to give a new location a clear and meaningful name. After naming and enabling the location, click Add to specify the location criteria. In this example, SolyCell is choosing to have the endpoint change locations based on the network connection type. You can also choose whether to notify the user when the subclient changes locations. Note that enabling locations is helpful when testing new locations. After confirming that the new location is working as expected, you can turn off notifications. The office location uses two conditions. Condition one checks to see if the endpoint is using an ethernet or wireless connection. If true, then it moves to the second condition. Condition two checks to see if the client computer can resolve one of the three DNS servers. If also true, the endpoint shifts to the office location. For more information on location awareness conditions, see the KB article shown on the slide. If the endpoint is connected over Cisco 3000 VPN, the client changes to the VPN location. The 3G 4G location uses two conditions. Condition one checks to see if the endpoint is using a wireless connection. If true, then it moves to the second condition. Condition two checks to see if the client computer is using a specific wireless SSID. This is the creating and assigning live update settings policies to new locations subtopic. Create a live update settings policy in the policy section. After naming the live update settings policy, click server settings. For the external location, clients retrieve content from the public semantic live update server. The new policy is ready to be assigned to the external location. After the policy is assigned, you can review the updated location settings for the client group in clients below the policies tab. For the office location, clients retrieve content from the default management server in an internal live update server. The benefit of retrieving content from the SEPM in an internal live update server is that client computers do not have to leave the network. Note that during a heartbeat, the client checks to see if new content is available on the management server. If it is, then the client downloads content directly from the SEPM. Live Update checks the schedule settings to determine whether or not to run. By default, Live Update runs if content is older than two days, or if the client disconnected from the SEPM for more than eight hours. If so, then Live Update runs. The new policy is ready to be assigned to the office location. After the policy is assigned, you can review the updated location settings for the client group in clients below the policies tab. Ensure that both the use the default management server and use a live update server options are enabled. If the management server is non-responsive, the clients retrieve updates from an external live update server. The new policy is ready to be assigned to the VPN location. After the policy is assigned, you can review the updated location settings for the client group in clients below the policies tab. For the 3G 4G location, both use the default management server and use a live update server options are disabled. Because the live update settings policy requires having at least one option enabled, enable third party management. Third party management means that distribution tools like Alteris, IBM, Tivoli, or Microsoft SMS distributes updates to client computers. Semantic Endpoint Protection supports the use of third-party distribution tools to update both managed and unmanaged clients that run on Windows operating systems. Mac and Linux clients can only receive content updates from internal or external live update servers. See the KB article shown on the slide for more information. However, in this example, enabling third-party distribution turns off client updates until the clients switch to the external office or VPN locations. At that point, it resumes checking for content updates. The new policy is ready to be assigned to the 3G 4G location. After the policy is assigned, you can review the updated location settings for the client group in the clients below the policies tab. After configuring the new locations, you can run a policy used report 
to sort policies by location. This is the Monitoring Location-Aware Content Updates topic. SoliCell selected a machine in their environment on which to test new locations. There are several areas that Angela can monitor when testing location awareness. The first being the notification area in the Windows system tray. A notification bubble displays when the SEP client switches to a different location. She can also review the troubleshooting window in the client UI. The troubleshooting window contains information such as the associated client group, policy serial number, and management server. For more detailed information, she can also examine the system logs. The system logs include events such as client server activity, content updates, and file reputation submissions. Follow the steps shown on the slide to connect to the external location. Note for the external location, clients retrieve content from the public Semantic Live Update server. To test the office location, Angela disconnects from the external location. A new notification displays in the system tray. She reviews the troubleshooting window and can see that this location switched to the office. She can also see the new event in the system log. Note, for the office location, clients retrieve content from the default management server and an internal LUA server. On the client computer, SolUcell connects to the VPN. A notification appears in the system tray showing that the location has changed from office to VPN. Angela opens the SEP client UI, clicks help, and selects troubleshooting. In the troubleshooting window, the location now shows as VPN. In the system logs, Angela can also see that a new policy was applied before the client switched over to the VPN location. Note that for the VPN location, clients retrieve content from a default management server and public live update servers. To test the 3G, 4G location, Angela enables mobile hotspot and tethering on her corporate data phone. From the client computer used for testing, she connects to the mobile hotspot using wireless. A notification displays in the system tray showing that the SEP client has switched to the new location. She can also see it in the troubleshooting window and in the system log. Note for the 3G, 4G location, content updates are turned off. When the client switches to external, office, or VPN locations, it resumes checking for content updates. Location awareness changes can also be seen in the client activity log on the SEPM. Now that SolUcell has tested the new locations, they are ready to proceed with ensuring that clients are able to download new content. You can monitor activity from the SEPM or directly on the SEP client. On the SEPM, build a timeline using the client server or client activity logs. On the SEP client, monitor the client management system or the virus and spyware protection system logs. To see content update activity, examine the client management system logs. It shows a timeline of the client switching to the new location, applying the new policy information, downloading content, and installing the update. You can also review the virus and spyware protection logs to confirm a definition file loaded event. From the SEPM, review the client activity log to see the client switching locations. To see the client downloading a content package, examine the client server activity logs. This slide summarizes the lesson. For more information about the topics discussed in this lesson, refer to the resources listed on the slide and remember to frequently check the Semantic Support website.